Uh, let me see here. Is that? Let's do a little adjusting here. Will that work? I think so. I might have to point it down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Just checking. We're not starting yet. So what time is it? Yeah, we're not starting yet. Just trying to adjust. And I'm going to have a sip of wine. Tis the hour, is it not? Why are y'all so blurry? Maybe my glasses need to be cleaned. Anyway. All right. So it's 7 o'clock. Top, top of the hour to you. I'm Tasha, your Simple Solutions Specialist, and you are, we are, well, you aren't, I am live from the Smoky Mountain Homestead. I think, I'm going to, I don't know what I like. I don't like turning. I mean, I'm not against turning. I mean, I do it all the time, but okay. Anyways, so, hey, everybody. Um, yeah, it's been a good week, busy week. We, um... We're out of town for the weekend. Uh, we went down to, um, it's down by Charlotte to go visit Alan's family. So that was, really, we had a blast. That was so much fun. Um, yeah, so one of my girlfriends, uh, Susan, big old freaking shout out to Susan. She was our chicken sitter for the weekend. Um, but lots of healthy chickens when we got back. They were all happy. happy so that was a good thing. So tonight, um, it's going to be a little bit of a bit, a little bit of a shorter video um, for two reasons. One is the couple things I'm going to show you are really, really easy to do, um, but we're going to talk about a couple of the ingredients a little bit, and then, um, and the other part is I've got a crap ton of homework to get done. <laughs> so, uh, so tonight I'm going to make body lotion, which I did do a video before on my hand lotion. Um, and my ingredients in that one are a little bit different, mostly because I use that one over and over all day long. So I uh, don't add as much other stuff into it, where my body lotion, I only use it once a day. So I make that one a little more luxurious, if you might. So uh, tonight, I am using, so I just mix it up in a jar like this, just, just a pint canning jar. Um, so what I use is olive oil, just plain old, and it doesn't have to be extra virgin. No, you don't need extra virgins or nothing. Just plain old olive oil. Um, and I do buy it by the gallon if, when I can, yeah, because we go through a lot of it. Um, honey, you need honey. This is, I just use this dispenser over and over because we buy honey by the great big thing of it because um, dairy and goes through it like crazy. He loves honey and butter on his biscuits and on toast and uh, well, anything with honey. And then you know what he really likes to drink? When, if he's got a sore throat or something, he'll, um, I make him thyme tea uh, with honey and lemon in it. And he'll drink that like all the time, even when he doesn't have a sore throat, which is okay with me. It's good for him. So um, we also need coconut oil. Remember I told you that I got this at Big Lots and every time I've gone to Big Lots, they have this. This is um, 60 fluid ounces. That's a lot. Well, it's not fluid, it's solid, but that's what they mean. Um, Non-GMO, and it uh, was $7.50. So and if you try to buy the ones that are like really small, they are expensive, you guys. I'm like, no way. So, and I got a gallon size one of this uh, before I got this one there that was like $12 and something. So that's a screaming deal. And the, every time I've gone to Big Lots, they always have these. Um, either the gallon ones or these ones. So that's a great place if you have a Big Lots by you to go. And hi, Louise, to um, go and see if they have that. Uh, what else do we need? We need, we got the coconut oil. We need vitamin E oil. This is the one that I use, the Jason, whatever. If you don't have the oil like this, you can always just use... Uh, vitamin E capsules, although you have to cut them open and that's kind of a pain in the neck. I'm, you know me, I'm, and I don't want to waste the capsules. So I, um, I just use this one. Uh, this is, yeah, anyway, so vitamin E oil. Um, uh, so you, what you can use one of uh, two other things. So, um, you can either use cocoa butter, cocoa butter. That's backwards to you guys. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I don't use cocoa butter 
just because I don't like the way it smells. <laughs> it's too sweet for me. I'm not a sweet person at all. The only time I used cocoa butter was when I was pregnant with my kids and I used it for the stretch, to get rid of stretch marks. And it works amazingly well. For the, I mean, yeah, I still have stretch marks. That's what happens when you calf out too many times. But um, look, I'll show you. This is actually all dried out because I haven't used it in so long. Like I don't, I don't even know why I still have this. God, I don't like the smell of it. It's too sweet. So what I use, I use shea butter. Um, again, not super cheap, but you know what? I love it and it works. I love how, um, like it re works really well to seal in the moisture that we're going to be putting. Um, yeah, it's, it's like, what, like a, yeah, like a sealant. It works great. I love this stuff. And if I could find it in bigger ones like this that didn't cost me an arm and a leg, I would be all over that. I know you could probably find it on Amazon. I'll go look on Amazon and see if I can find a, a good link and I'll post it um, in the description under this when I post it on YouTube. Um, so shea butter. And then you don't have to, but I do, of course. I add my essential oils. Um, I use uh, frankincense. I love my frankincense. Um, frankincense is really, really good for inflammation. Um, and it, it helps like get rid of all those little wrinkles. It's heading to Bigelow's tomorrow. <laughs> You're welcome, Kelly. Um, yeah, so frankincense is, this is absolutely one of my very favorites. I actually put this on the bottoms of my feet every day, uh, to help with my plantar fasciitis because it does help with the inflammation. And I'll tell you what, I mean, if it wasn't for this and deep blue, there, I would still, like, there was one time I was actually on crutches because I couldn't walk because my plantar fasciitis was so bad. It was horrible. So, this, frankincense. I also use geranium, which is amazing for the skin. Super, super, super moisturizing. Now, again, you don't have to add essential oils to this. I do because I'm an oil girl. I uh, love this one. And then, oh, the piece de resistance. I love my jasmine oil. It smells absolutely like heaven. And it's really, really, really good for your skin. Super good. So, um, and again, like I use the doTERRA brand, but there's a lot of really good brands out there. Uh, just make sure you do your homework. Um, if, you, if, you, if it's not something you would put in your body, don't put it on your body because it's going in there whether you want it to or not especially on the bottoms of your feet. That's why you never walk in like swampy, disgusting water without shoes on because all that gook is going up into your system. That's nasty. All right, so I'm just gonna make a small, usually I'll do um, like a big, back, this, this stuff goes, like you only need a teeny, teeny, tiny bit because it goes really, really far. So um, I usually, own, like this is the biggest batch I would ever make of this. I would never do, I mean, it would last me for the rest of my life if I did like a quart size jar. So I usually, and it won't fill up this whole jar either. So, um, olive oil. So, uh, what am I doing? Four teaspoons. So this, this is um, four teaspoons of olive oil. One. Olive oil is really, really good for the skin too. I know like in the Mediterranean, you know, they like slather it all over themselves. It makes me wonder if they smell like, like a salad or something. And if you use like the really, really high quality, high quality olive oils, you just might end up smelling like salad because they really do smell like, um, like olive, like you can really smell the olive in there. Okay, there's that. And then we need three teaspoons of honey. Honey, honey, honey. Again, this is really good. Honey's a really good um, antibacterial too, so if you get a boo-boo, just throw some of that on there. Three teaspoons. And again, you know me guys, this is not exact. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. I mean, you don't want it to be like super liquidy. Um, Cause I mean, if you want it liquidy, that's up to you. You could have like body, body oil instead of body lotion that's up to you Ooh, that, that sounds kind of like sexy time doesn't it body oil uh coconut oil so um you're going to want to make sure that you're using the uh solid and again just because if this is a body lotion if you want you could use fractionated coconut oil which it has the solids removed um but then you're going to have a more liquid product 
I mean, and really if you did that, you'd all you would need to do is go thwink and stick your finger in there and that would probably cover half your body. So, uh, what did I say? I said something, four tablespoons. Oh, I need to, four tabby spoons. So I'm just gonna eyeball this kind of, you know, that's about what I do with everything, right? Uh, some. All right, it's been cold, so it's all chunky monkey in here. That's good, one. And then if you don't like the consistency when you're done mixing it up, you can always add more um, coconut oil to it if you want, or shea butter or whatever you're using. So funny that that cocoa butter, I just need to get rid of it. Man, that stuff is so, it just smells so sweet. It just, ugh. But you know what? I'm like, I don't even like chocolate, you know? I mean, I mean it's not, no, that's a lot. I do like chocolate, but if it ceased to exist, I really wouldn't care. Thrive Market has the now brand of Shea Butter reasonably priced. Oh, right on. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Michelle. So that's, what was that? That was two. I'm making a big old mess over here, y'all. That's all right. Darian was a sweetheart and cleaned the kitchen for me today so I could get some homework done. So I better, they're at Scouts right now, so. I better not, he better not come home to a, a dirty kitchen. He'll be mad. He'll be like, I just cleaned this. I'm like, yeah, now you know how I feel, sucker. All right. This is, I should have tried to melt this a little before we started. All right, come on. There we go, four. That's good. That'll do for now. And I usually end up playing with the, t the consistency like every time because it just that's just the way it works out. So that was that. So um, vitamin E oil. So if you don't uh, want to use vitamin E oil, you can also use like sweet almond oil, which is really good for the skin. Or you could use grapeseed oil. Um, but again, I just my skin does really well with uh, vitamin E oil, so that's what I use. Get out of there. So this is um, two and a half tablespoons. So, I mean, there's no half tablespoon measure, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. That's a lot of oil, uh, vitamin E oil, I know. And when you buy it like this way, it's not cheap, but I much prefer it that way. But I have another one here. But wait, there's more. Oh, it's got a little, let me make sure I got all that. I'm going to get all that goodness out of there. I don't want to waste. It was so funny. So much, a bunch of the stuff we, I had when we were moving out here from San Diego, like my oils and everything, we had to take them all in the car with us because I didn't want them to go in the pod because they would all have gone rancid. So, Helen, you like, are you serious, baby? Like, really, like, most of the car was, like, my stuff for making my my oil blends and this and that and he was he was not happy <laughs> but he lived through it and he loves me which is a good thing because otherwise he'd probably choke me oh that's the wrong lid that's the wrong one that's that's all gone all gone and um shea butter that is eight tablespoons that ugh, that one was the cocoa butter i don't want that nobody wants that well some people might but not me all right, so eight tablespoons. I softened this one up beforehand. I got smart. But it's cold in our bathroom, so. See, I, I don't, you guys probably can't, I mean, if you've used shea butter, you know like how creamy and yummy it is. One. Oh, I also wanted to tell you, I don't know how many of you remember, I did a video a while back on Stupid dog of mine's out there barking. I did a video on making um, eyeshadow. That was two. I have to keep track. Um, on making eyeshadow from uh, coconut oil and beet powder. And it was an experiment. And I was saying I'll just see how it goes. That was three. Um, I might use this whole thing. And so, just so you know, the experiment did not go well. And... I think it's because the coconut oil wants to soak into the skin rather than just sit on top of it. So, um, this is 
five, right? I think. No. Yeah, that's five. Six. That's pretty good. Seven. So, um, and all it was was just uh, coconut oil and beet powder. Um, that's about right. Okay, eight. Um, and it didn't go well. So, I think what I'm going to do, because it because the coconut oil, and a lot of people don't like to use coconut oil because it dries out their skin, so you just have to know your skin and know what, what works well with it. Um, so, here's my beet powder. So, all I did was dehydrate, slice really, really thin in my food processor, my beets. Then I dehydrated them until they were like crispy, 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 crispy. And then I put them in a, um, in a grain mill, not a grain mill, I'm sorry, a coffee, coffee grinder. And it just powdered it up. And so then I just put it in, put the coconut oil in this little pod thing that I've got. And then I added in the beet powder. But it didn't, like, it didn't even stain the skin like I, like I thought it would. So, but it will, like, if I add more beet powder to this, I'll be able to use this as a lip stain. So it will not go to waste. Nothing goes to waste in this house. All right, so frankincense. I'm going to use, oops, zoop, hello, I have yeast on. Um, frankincense, I'm going to use three drops of this. I don't use a whole lot, you know, just because everything else in here is so nourishing to the skin that you don't really need to. Um, the geranium, geranium is a really um, pungent, strong oil. So whenever you use it, just know that it's, uh, yeah, hi, Sabina. Um, so I'm only using um, two drops of the geranium because it is strong. You just kind of got to go easy unless you want to like have people walking by you going, I smell geranium. And my jasmine. Oh my God, I love this. And I, like I'm so stingy with my jasmine oil because the one from doTERRA, you can't buy it. You have to earn it. And um, yeah, so I'm pretty stingy with my jasmine oil. <laughs> So that is all we have in here. So this is, um, and oh, you know what else you could add in here? Um, if you had, I just don't have it. If I have it, I would have added it to it, um, is aloe vera gel. So you can do, I would do like four teaspoons-ish of aloe vera gel. And then, um, or you could even, if you have an aloe vera plant, you could, um, ooh, that looks kind of nice. You could uh, just scrape the gel out of the, you know, the, the plant and do it that way. The first time I did this, this was a long time ago, I was making this. I'm like, oh, I'll just use a popsicle stick. I broke the sucker right off in the jar. And like I said, this goes a long, long way. So this is probably going to let, this will probably last me till next year at least, at the, at least. Because, you know, I only use it once a day, so it's not that big of a deal. You just kind of want to stir it up until it's kind of creamy-ish. And as it sits, it'll settle up too. But having the, um, the olive oil in there will help it stay a little bit liquidy. So it's not um, like a chunk. It's not a chunk of like, gets hard. Like, you know how coconut oil gets hard? So. All right. So. Let's see if I can show you guys this. Look at how pretty and creamy that is. It's, oh, I don't want to spill. Uh, go dumping it out of the jar. But it is. It's like, it's it's thin now just because I softened up that shea butter. But it, um, that'll stiffen up as that shea butter gets, oh, I said stiff. All right, that is that. Yeah, that's it. So when we first got here, um, I didn't have all of my, oh, I missed some honey. I got to put that in there. Um, I didn't have all the ingredients to make lotion, so I actually just went out and bought some. Ugh, regretted that decision because you know me, I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to have to get rid of it, you know. But so I ended up using it and oh, my God, it was just, it, I think it was drying out my skin more than it was helping it. This is really good, especially for the, like, in the winter or if you have really, really dry skin. Because um, as we get older, you know, our skin loses its moisture. Tis a pity. Um, okay, so I'm going to tell you again what all is in here. It is four teaspoons of olive oil, 
All right, yes, I will post it and I'm gonna tell you what's in it. So four teaspoons of olive oil, three teaspoons of honey, uh, four tablespoons of coconut oil, two and a half tablespoons of vitamin E oil, or like I said, you could use the grapeseed oil or um, sweet almond oil, um, eight tablespoons of shea butter, and then your essential oils, whichever ones you wanna use. I used three drops of frankincense oil, two drops of geranium, and two drops of jasmine. And then if you want, if you have aloe vera gel, you could add like four teaspoons of that to it. Um, or, and then again, like if you, um, so one recipe I saw um, called for Vaseline. This was years ago and it, yeah. I mean, I'm sure all of you guys already know this, but Vaseline is a petroleum product. So you're basically rubbing oil, like crude oil on your body. It's the, it, and the process that it has to go through because we have to extract the oil. It's just not a environmentally body friendly product. Um, so other things that you could use besides um, the cocoa butter and the shea butter, you could use, I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. Um, you could use tallow. Um, and if you render your own, that's even better. If you have access to, you know, a raw dead cow, you could get the fat off of there and render your own. And it's not hard to render fat. It's super, super easy. Um, lanolin, you could use that. All of the ones I'm naming off here are rated zero for toxicity, except for the lanolin, which is uh, rated at one because of the potential allergens to wool. So, but you could use lanolin oil, um, again, olive oil, or you could use jojoba oil. But just know that some of, um, like the lanolin and the jojoba oil, those are gonna make your product um, a lot more liquid in the end. So it just depends on like what you're looking for. And you know, you could use this and then just, oh, hush your face. You could use those and then just add a little more um, coconut oil. As long as you're using the solid coconut oil, just use some more of that and, um, and it'll like give you a thicker product. You know what I mean? All right. Um, oh, I guess I did almost do a whole half hour, huh? It's because I ramble on. Y'all need to tell me to shut up. All right. Um, so that was that. I will post the recipe um, on my blog, on my website. I'll, I'll post um, a link to it. I'll get that up. And... Um, yeah, I think that is it for tonight, unless you guys have any questions. Hi, Joy. Um, I think that's it. All right. So that is it for tonight, and I will see you guys next week. I think tomorrow I actually might, I probably won't be live, but I do want to try to do a um, another video. I'll, I'll post it on my YouTube channel, Smoky Mountain Homestead, because um, I'm going to make, Darian's been going through a lot of tortillas later, lately, so I need to make more tortillas tomorrow. So I think I'll be doing that tomorrow. And that is it. I love you guys. Peace out. Be the change.